Piles of gems across the streets, but people just walk and pass by with their feet. Fields of green now fill some room. Oh, how I want my child and see it bloom. Rivers of life now rivers of death. When I see it, I can't touch my breath. Forest are where animals can breed, but trees are gone because of greed. There must be something that we can still do. But do you still care with the things around you? Always remember that God comes on you. So give Mother Nature lives and brand new. Every day is a good day. There is something to learn and celebrate. A warm morning to all of you. A morning assembly is a crucial part of school routine. It is a time to encourage and motivate children for rest of the day. So today, Grade 9 students are here to present virtual assembly on World Nature Conservation Day. I would like to call Ms. Shri Yakeruskar to introduce you all, uh, all to this special day. Samudra Vasne Devi Parvatasthana Mandite Vishnu Patni Namastubhyam Padas Parshaksha Maswame Mother Earth, who has the ocean as cloth, adorned by mountains and forests and is the consent of Lord Vishnu. I bow to you to please forgive me for touching you with my feet. It is critical to protect the environment so as to reduce the destruction of ecosystem caused by a myriad of anthropogenic activities. Rain, deforestation, wildfires are just few of the environmental issues that we are facing right now. It is everyone's responsibility to take care of the environment to make this planet a wonderful place to live. One does not need to put simple changes in daily lifestyles is all what is required to reduce your carbon footprint on the environment. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you, Shriya. A thought is a propeller of all good actions. Hence, it is very important to start our day with a motivational thought. We have Kridisha Jain to present a thought for the day. Jai Bharat. Today's thought for the day is Earth provides enough to satisfy man's need, but not man's need. Safety, savor. We are the guardians of nature. Thank you. Thank you, Ridisha. Now, I would like to call Ms. Wafa Hafiz to deliver the speech. Today, I am going to say a few words on World Nature Conservation Day. World Nature Conservation Day is celebrated on 28th of July and June. World Nature Conservation Day acknowledges that a healthy environment is the foundation for a stable and healthy society. This day is celebrated to create and increase awareness about the importance of natural resources and how one can live sustainably. The day encourages people to save and protect Earth's natural resources that are fast depleting owing to overexploitation and even misuse. Conservation is a state of harmony between men and man. So, on World Conservation Day, let us make a conscious effort to conserve nature around the world. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you, Wafa. It was really very informative speech. Now, let's move towards an interesting part of our assembly that is quiz. For that, I would like to call Master Vipin Kumar Kori. Today's quiz questions are, my first question is, which is the most dangerous? Chemical in a ozone layer. The answer is CFC is chlorofluorocarbon. My second question is the ozone layer absorb what percent of ultralight? The answer is 97.99%. My third question is who is referred to as the lungs of earth? The answer is the Amazon forest. My fourth question is what is the total area covered by the Amazon forest? Answer is 5.5 million kilometers. My last question is 
which one of the following are not renewable source of energy options are water wind coal or solar the right answer is coal thank you have a nice day thank you vipin miss ikra adhikari and miss fatima adhikari will tell us why we should be aware of natural resources So hereby we can conclude that the conservation is supreme priority, and we should do that. But exactly how we can do that? Master Jay Mehta is here to introduce you all the laws of conservation laid down by the Indian Constitution. The six laws related to the environmental protection and wildlife are: first, the Environment Protection Act in 1986; second. The Forest Conservation Act in 1980. Third, the Wildlife Protection Act in 1972. Fourth, Water Prevention and Control of Pollution Act in 1974. Fifth, Air Prevention and Control of Pollution in 1981. Sixth, the Indian Forest Act in 1927. Thank you. Thank you, Jay. At the end. I would just say that to accomplish the great things we must not only dreams but also act not only believe but also plan now let us all be the green warriors of mother earth help replenish the natural resource thank you and stay safe <laughs>